Welcome back to Good Morning Vail. Joining me in the studio is the chief of the Vail Police Department, Dwight Henninger. Good morning, Chief. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for coming on. So you're here kind of to tell us, you know, maybe some advice on how to stay safe tonight because this is a, a night that's really kind of centered around celebrating. Right, right. So first of all, I want to thank everybody for being here for the holidays. It's been great yes. having everybody here. It's a really good time. So we want everybody to have a, a plan for tonight so they have a good time and a safe one. So they're going to start off the new year in, at my jail or my hotel, you know, so. <laughs> well, I was just mentioning that I was at a, a show last night that was running late and um, I have an early morning, so I like to try to get to bed early. Right. And I was thinking of leaving early and mentioned to my husband, hey, I think I might Uber home. And he asked, do you have an Uber account? I'm like, well, no, I don't. So that's part of having a plan is think about these things in advance, right? Right. So those uh, ride sharing network um, folks are great. Yeah. Uh, we have taxis and limos, but really the best opportunity th tonight is uh, the buses, either the, okay. the Vail buses or the Eco buses. And after midnight, Eco will be free and they'll be running later than they normally do. So they'll run the no normal routes, but they'll be free. So they'll keep running until we get everybody out of town. Well, that's so, good to know right. because they, they pretty much go just about everywhere in the valley. So you could probably get home, might take you a little bit longer, right. but you'll get home safer. Right, exactly. And it's a fun time on the bus on the way home, I think. So So what time are we talking about, you know, when you think things are going to start to clear out? What time would you like to see people off the streets by? Well, you know, Midnight would be great, but it's, it's more like 2, 2.30 in the morning. The buses all kind of end at 2, so you got to be on the bus at the okay. transportation center by 2. And just about everything's closed by then anyway. Yeah. Some people have a long time, have a hard time making it down to the bus. bus. We, help, we help encourage them. So We'll have an extra foot presence uh, in the village to help everybody get, have a good time and get to the buses and everything like that. So, so okay, so you guys will be on foot in, in both Beaver Creek and Vail Village? Um, probably m not so much at Beaver Creek, but uh, okay. in Vail Village and Lion's Head, we'll have extra officers out there, yes. So. Okay, and maybe giving people some advice, uh, maybe you should be going to your car? Well, what I really encourage people to do is think about it now, what their plan is. Okay. Don't be thinking about it at 2 a.m. Okay. So. So last week, so I signed up for Eco Alerts, which I think is a, a great way to know what's going on right. in the town. And I saw last week that Cottonwood Pass is now closed. But do you sometimes have trouble with people going on roads they're not supposed to be going on? Um, you know, Cottonwood is probably the only example in the county where people get uh, up there and they can't get turned around and that type of thing. It's a problem. But um, really, there are, all the rest of the roads are really good throughout the whole winter for the most part, so that's not a problem. But EC Alert is a really great system to know what's going on on the roads around here, and so we always encourage people to sign up for it. It's a great program. We also encourage people to check with cotrip.org right. to kind of look at the webcams and check on the road conditions whenever they're going somewhere. And do you participate in that, or do you have something else that people should check for Vail? No, so I'm signed up for EC Alert and the, the uh, CDOT um, system, um, so I get those text messages all the time, and it works really well for me, particularly if I'm going to be driving down to Denver. So. Um, I encourage everybody to do that. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Great. It was great talking with you and Happy New Year. Thank you. Have a great New Year's and everybody out there. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Stay tuned. Coming up, we've got your weather forecast.